So the Battlefield 4 beta is now over. We had about two solid weeks in which we could really get to grips with this game and get a chance to really experience Battlefield 4. Now I myself only played for around about 22 hours. I know there are some people out there who played for 50, even 60 hours on this beta. But in those 22 hours, I think I got a real chance to get to grips with this game and experience what Battlefield 4 is going to be like. Now during and since the beta, Battlefield have really been listening to you guys about your thoughts and opinions on the game. Things to do with the lock on RPGs, the amount of time you have to counter stab enemy players and other small changes along these lines. Now since then, DICE have now released a blog explaining all of the changes that they're going to make from our feedback before the release of the full game. And today, we're going to take a closer look at some of these more interesting aspects and changes. Now the first changes on this list are all PC orientated, and by the looks of things, they should really please all the PC players out there. Now the first one is low frame rate and stuttering. Now throughout the beta, players were really suffering with frame rate drops, no matter what PC setup you had, and no matter what graphic settings you tried to apply during the beta, whether you had it on ultra settings or all the way down to low settings, you would still suffer with frame rate drops. But now DICE have said they've done game client updates and a number of game server updates as well, and this should really address those frame rate issues. Now another PC issue that's been resolved is the CPU usage. A lot of players were finding during the beta their CPU use was going absolutely sky high, but now DICE have said they've resolved this issue. Now for console players, a lot of people did complain they didn't like the new button layout on the controller. So DICE have now brought out a legacy setup, you can pick this through your control menus, and once you've got this setup acquired, you can then have your buttons as similar to Battlefield 3 as possible. Now it saddens me to tell you that DICE are removing the elevator catapult bug. Now personally, I quite enjoyed this bug, I thought it was quite a funny little neat feature to keep within the map. But DICE have taken this out now, so we won't be seeing it in the full game. Now for any of you guys who don't know what it was, basically as a skyscraper collapsed, you could still find the elevator button within all that rubble, and if you pressed it, it would throw your player miles into the sky. It was quite a funny little thing to see, but unfortunately that is being taken out before the full game is released. Now on top of this, there have been some changes to the infantry, including an increased revive time from 7 to 10 seconds, the distance you can now throw portable med packs has been increased, interestingly, the rate of fire of the AK-12 when in burst fire mode has been reduced from 1000 rounds a minute down to 750 rounds per minute, and all automatic weapons have had their accuracy reduced when firing in fully auto mode, so we'll be no longer seeing these very laser accurate deadly assault rifles that we saw in the beta. Now I agree with all of these changes, maybe apart from the revive, I think 7 seconds is probably long enough, within the beta I thought that was maybe even a little bit too long, I do agree with the idea of a revive time because you don't want to see medics racking up all those revive chains, but maybe 10 seconds is a little bit too long, maybe I thought 5 would be a little bit better, so I'm not quite sure if 10 seconds is the right thing to do, but we're yet to find out and see. And one of the most interesting changes is of course the RPG. Throughout the beta, players were confused why the RPG did have a lock-on capability. Was it a glitch? Wasn't it a glitch? We have now been told by DICE this is being removed because one, it isn't very authentic, and two, it wasn't very fair. Throughout the beta, people in aircraft and helicopters had no real inclination they had a weapon being locked onto them. They couldn't tell they had an RPG coming their way, but now this has been fixed and the RPG lock-on system has been removed. Now one thing that I didn't see on the list, which really surprised me, was the counter knife. Now throughout the beta, I thought the window of opportunity that you had when someone tried to stab you to counter knife was a little bit too long. Every time a player tried to stab me, I always successfully achieved the counter knife because you had like 2 or 3 seconds to activate it, which I thought was a little bit too long. Every time a player tried to stab me, I would always end up stabbing them, to the point where I thought, personally, I wouldn't even bother trying to stab a player because it was such a great opportunity that they were going to stab you instead. So I think that window of time you have to press the counter knife button should probably be reduced a little bit. And as I said, I'm very surprised I didn't see that change in this list of beta changes. Now there are a few of the changes I haven't mentioned. I will leave a link to the full list of changes in the description below. But I want to hear from you guys. Were there any other things that haven't been included on this list that you'd have liked to see change? Or maybe there are some things that have been changed that you thought should have stayed the way they are. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And don't forget guys, if you did enjoy this video, please hit me up with a like. It does help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.